cheers. Actually, it's not cheers, because we're Spanish tonight. No, it might not look like it. But we're cooking Spanish tonight. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm eating pistachios. We're eating Spanish tonight. Very simple little dish. Basically, it shouldn't take very long to cook at all. We are having gambas ajillo, or for you non-Spanish speakers, garlic shrimp or garlic prawn. Now, ideally for this, you want some nice big prawns, towel still on, deveined, okay? Can't get hold of any. Well, I probably could, but I didn't bother. Bought them in the supermarket. So, if you were doing it that way, you probably want about six, six each. But these aren't very big, so we've got a lot more than six each. And we'll be serving this. Um, you could serve it with some rice if you wanted. We're not. We're going to serve it with some, some sort of fresh, crusty-ish bread. Well, actually, it's not really crusty bread. Um, I'm going to be serving this with some um, medieval bread. And no, it's not that bloody old. It's from a 14th century recipe. And it's got pistachios and almonds. Hence the reason I've got some pistachios left over. So, we're going to be making garlic chilli shrimp. With smoked paprika. So, well actually, I should explain. If you were having proper... Gambas are here, we are, however you pronounce it. Um, it would really only consist of three things. It would be garlic, olive oil, and shrimp prawn. Called shrimps prawns, right? But we are having a bit of an enhanced version. So it's got the prawns, it's got the garlic, it's got the olive oil. But we're going to be having um, some chilli, some smoked paprika, a bit of salt, a bit of butter, a bit of wine. Um, and some parsley. So, can't for laugh me what you say in Spanish. But cheers. Now, once we start cooking this, quite quick, we don't want to overcook prawns. Excuse me. Eat nuts still. He just rinsed my mouth so I don't spit nuts at you. Very unhygienic. So, I've got quite a lot of garlic here. If you don't like too much garlic, have about three cloves. We've got a bit more than that. Okay, and because, like I just said, this is going to take, you know, it don't take that long to cook this. We don't want to overcook the problem. So you really need everything ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this garlic and I'm going to, well, I can say skin it, but I don't know what you call it. I'm going to get rid of the uh, skins and then I'm going to finely chop it okay and then what we, the only other thing we need to do is then just chop the um, parsley up so I'll just take the stalks off and we'll chop the parsley up and then everything else is ready to go so I've got about a teaspoon of chilli flakes now if you're a bit of a wuss and you don't like your chilli don't have a don't have that amount really or you can have more if you want in. But um, well, I've got a teaspoon of that. I've got a teaspoon and a half of smoked paprika. Now, if you're being authentic, being authentic, you would go for Spanish smoked paprika. Bloody no idea where this come from. Well, I do, we come to Tesco's. Um, so I've got smoked paprika, and then I've got oh, about a quarter teaspoon of salt. I've got 180 mils of what one? Um, I've got 60 grams of butter over there. Um, slightly softened. Doesn't have to be softened, but it just speeds things up when we come to make the sauce. What else have we got? Um, oh, and a lemon, and you'll want half a lemon. So, I'm just going to get this garlic chopped and have a nice wiggle one. So, olive oil. That's the first thing you're going to need. And a pan to cook it in. And a pretty high heat. And you want about four tablespoons. One, two, three, four. 
two, three, four. Okay. Um, I've got my uh, parsley chopped, got my garlic chopped. And over here I've got these prawns we've got from Tesco's. Now, if you can get tail on prawns, get your tail on prawns. Make sure they're de-veined. These have been, won't they? And then you can slice them so they're slightly butterfly them if you like, but they're too bloody small. I'm going to do that. Probably fall apart. So what we're going to do is get the oil up to quite a high heat. Um, and we're going to basically shove them in there. But I'm not going to do too many at once. Because when we do them, as soon as they're going a bit pink, really flip them over. Do the other side pink, whip them out. They're not fully cooking them at this stage. Because we're going to return them to the sauce to finish off the cooking. And what we do not want to do, we definitely don't want to do, is overcook them. Okay? So, I've got myself a new tongs. That tongs ground rusty. Um, so, like I say, I'm going to do them in batches. So I shouldn't speak my mouth on. Bit of clean parrot, palette, palette, parrot. So we're doing in batches so we don't over, end up overcooking them. So I can flip them over and as soon as they're done, I'll take them out, put in a bowl, and like I say, when they're all done, we'll then move on to cooking the, uh, well, doing the sauce that we'll then cook the, the prawns back into. I don't have enough drink tonight. Can't think straight. So, I think they're just, that's just coming up. Let's have a look. Let's try them. No, it's not sizzling yet. I'll give it a bit longer. So, we're getting through the prawns, literally about 30 seconds aside. Okay, you can see they're coming out nice and pink, but they're not fully cooked through. Um, so, I've just got the last batch to do. Okay, I'm sort of putting them in in small batches get round the pan, flip them over, and then go back to the start and take them out. Um, if they look a little bit translucent, that's excellent. Okay, because like I said, we're gonna finish up cooking them later. Now, by the time we finish this, there's gonna be too much oil in there. We do want some oil left, obviously, to cook the garlic in, but not this much. So what I will do is I will drain off Drain off the, some of most of the oil, leave a little bit in there. So, like I said, now I'm just going to flip these, cook the other side, and then we'll be ready to drain some of that oil to start the sauce. We're almost there then. So, I've turned it down to about a low to medium heat. Got the um, a little bit of oil left, and what I'm going to do is I'm chuck that chopped garlic into the pan. And we're also going to put in there the chilli. Now we want to cook, I might have turned that heat up a little bit. I think I might have turned it perhaps a little bit too low. Um, we're now just going to cook off the garlic and the chilli flakes. Where's my skip tongs on? Um, we don't want the garlic to, to burn, okay? Don't really want it browning too much. But we want to cook the garlic, get it nicely toasted if you like. And then, then we have a drink one. Once that garlic is just about there, we're going to take that smoked paprika and chuck that in. Mix it all around. And then we've... I've got some white wine, like I said, about 180 mils. Is it 180? No, 120 mils, sorry. About 120 mils of white wine. Now, this dish, I know I'm drinking red, and this dish will go very nicely with a nice chilled white wine. You know, like Pinot Grigio, Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, whatever, whatever your favorite uh, white wine is. So I've got some of that there. The wife is drinking starting to drink the rest of it, say drinking the rest, starting to drink the rest, better believe me some, or I might have to open that Rioja, which is of course, oh, what's going on with me bloody 
screen. Hey, stop messing me about. Oh, now it's going straight again. I think I better pause here and sort it out. So, I'm putting that paprika in that goes. I'm going to give that a little quick mix around in there. Not an awful lot of oil in here, you might want a little bit more oil, it's up to you. Okay, um, just going to give it a little bit of a mix around. And then, almost put me red wine in there then. And then we're going to add in that white wine, basically to deglaze your pan. Although the pan I'm using, like I've said before, don't really need deglazing. Because nothing sticks to the bugger. It's an aluminium coated, when I say aluminium coated, I mean it's coated with aluminium. It's an aluminium pan that's coated. If it was just purely coated with aluminium, bloody Americans go mental. Well, can't eat, can't eat out of that. Kill you. Um, so, what we're going to do now is just going to let that cook through and reduce by about half. Okay, so it's got a nice ready colour there. So, like I say, we're just going to cook that through, reduce by half, and then at that point, you're going to want half a lemon. Okay, so. There's a half to go in there, there's a half to go in GNT later. So that's reduced down about by half. Bloody lemon. Um, so now I'm just going to add in, like I said, about half a lemon. Just try and stop getting the bits in there. You know the pips. Um, and then we're just going to, and I think I just put one in. And we're just going to now let that cook through. Washing your hands out of, out of salt, just let that warm through, and then we'll be ready to start putting the final little touches in there before we're ready to serve it up. So, I'm just going to give that a little bit of a stir around. So, there's not much of it when I say in the sauce, there's not an awful lot of sauce in here, and it's not too oily. Okay, we will be adding some butter, and obviously if we're not careful there, if we overheat that, what happens with the butter is a butter, butter sort of, the fats in it break apart and it becomes quite oily, and we're trying to avoid that, all right? It's still going to be quite oily, because it's all fatty, because it's got butter in it, isn't it? Um, so, we now chuck in that chopped up. Yeah, I like. And we add, like I say, about a quarter to a half a teaspoon of salt. In that goes. Just give that a little bit of a mix through. And then in goes those prawns. And we're now just going to mix that through. You could, if you add to the sort of right sort of pan, you could toss it. Okay, I'm not going to do it with this one. I'm just going to give it a good old stir around. And let them prawns finish cooking off. And then what we will do is we'll remove the prawns into our serving bowl. So we'll just split that lot into two. Leave behind a little bit of the, well, we leave behind the sauce. We're just transferring the prawns. And that's when we're just going to finish off with the butter. So, like I said, at this point, we're going to, Remove our prawns, we're going to put half in one serving bowl and half in the other. And we're leaving behind our sauce or whatever you want to call it. And then the final ingredient will be our butter. Okay, I've got a plate ready with my uh, bread to go with it. I made some bread, I think I said, I can't remember now. I made some bread earlier uh, uh, from a 14th century Egyptian cookbook. It's a nutty uh, roll, pistachio, sesame and almonds. Anyway, that's got that in there. What we're now going to add into that is our butter, okay, which has gone slightly soft. And I'm just going to turn the heat up. Fairly high heat. Like I said, we do not want to overheat the butter. We want to get it melted and get it nicely cooked through. What we don't want is the butter splitting, as it were. Um, 
but we're just we're just creating that final sauce and then all we'll be doing is just ladling that as such or spooning that over the over the prawns and that's all there is to it simples so as soon as that butter had melted turn the heat right down nice and low because like i say we want it to emulsify okay a bit of science man. and it emulsify we don't want to we don't want to like burn a butter or overcook it and now i'm going to just turn the heat off i might have to use cloth for them angles um, and what i'm going to do is i'm now just going to whoop, spoon some of that sauce over the prawns making sure i get the garlic and the parsley and the trolley flakes like i say don't like it too hot don't put so much chili in you can always leave chili out that's a bit pointless because it's garlic chili cream um pan's getting a bit hot and so there is your garlic chili shrimp let's just try one just so you can you can appreciate the taste mm. then prawns are just cooked they're not chewy they're not overcooked they're not over chili fried they're not overly hot could have probably put a bit more chili in to be honest but they have got that nice garlic hit so there you go your spanish style or spanish garlic and chili shrimp i'm going to enjoy these now with me medieval bread <laughs>